Hey guys, Dave, Aaron here. Uh, Twig, week of the 29th through the 3rd of October. Yes, it's finally October. Two more months until greatest holiday of all, New Year's Day, obviously. Um, so we're gonna go into it. Uh, using usual five things, you know. Yeah. Um, so uh, you never PlayStation Home, right, Dave? Oh, uh, that little virtual world you can. Oh yeah, we we're gambling and stuff. Yeah, we we're doing a little gambling. Um, yeah, it's shutting down. Uh, it's gonna shut down. Is no, it it's because no one cares? Um, actually, no, it's gonna shut guess. down March thirty first, twenty fifteen. So you still have like almost a year to play it. Oh boy, kinda like a year, maybe half half a year, whatever. It's like six months. Yeah, something like that. Whatever. I don't feel like doing the math. Um, but the CEO of uh the place that owned it, like in dreams, uh, he's saying like you know it's not a commercial failure because at one point he's. He claimed it uh, had seven digits worth of uh, revenue coming from it. That's a million bucks right there. Seven digits. Yeah, that's what he said. Seven figures. Seven figures. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's like seven digits. He just put a one with a bunch of zeros behind yeah. it, like one. Uh, <laughs> it's like one point zero point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. one point zero zero zero. Uh, so it's gonna shut down March thirty first. You haven't played it then. Um, I actually saw someone put in the comments that you can actually get some PS one games if you do like a little. Mini game inside PlayStation Home. I want to check it out, but it's something like I want. Like it was like Warhawk, like Dirt Destiny Four, or something like that. Oh boy! Yeah, but they're free games, whatever you know. Um, Dirt Destiny Four, out all over that. <laughs> all right, and um, the Walking Dead games, Telltale games. Uh, they're getting their uh, PS4 and Xbox One release dates. Um, let's see. In North America for the PS4 and Xbox One. Oh, this, this is the action game. Yeah, no, like one that get critically acclaimed. Okay, not with the game that's already out. Yeah. Okay. Like the ones that uh, y- y- it's Telltale the uh. Okay. Comic, I, was, makes it comic. I get that confused with the other game. Yeah. No. Understandable. Uh, season one will be available October fourteenth, and season two will be available the following week on October twenty first. Very nice. Uh, and it's only in North America. In Europe, it's going to be October twenty fourth for both seasons. So they got to wait an extra week and three days. Um. It's and weird how they do that. I know. I don't. Thank you. Vita owners will get it November fourth. Um. And then season two will be shortly after. They haven't announced season two for Vita. But who plays Vita, honestly? A lot of people, apparently. It's just, you don't see anybody. I don't know. You I don't, don't see, like, like, you know, you always see De- DSs out. You don't see, like, Vita. Let me pull my Vita. But I guess it's big somewhere in some place. Somewhere. Not yeah. here. Uh, I want to pause that video because I don't want that thing playing. Okay. A uh, little Mortal Kombat news. Mortal Kombat X has a new fighter. I don't know if you know him. Quan Chi. You know him? Quan Chi. That sounds like uh uh that's him right there. No, he's a sorcerer apparently. That's, I can't say that I do. Yeah, he's the one that got announced for the new Mortal Kombat game. Um, apparently like in Mortal Kombat, actually you have like different fighting styles. Um, yeah, this one has three: a sorcerer, warlock, and the summoner. Like variation fighting styles, you can do different things with them. Like I know the summoner, you you summon a beast from the nether realm to help him combat. So I don't know how this uh, is gonna play out. Usually fighting. Yeah, but usually like fighting's is you know yeah. like something a beast like a tiger, um, girl, <laughs> a nether realm tiger, Ty- like a tiger, tiger, um, and we got a little state of decay news that ever pops up because you know my internet is just wonderful. Here it is, state of decay. Yeah, um, you know how they announced the year one survival edition for the Xbox One? Well, they also announced today that exactly today on this day they sold boom October third two million suckers. They sold two million copies. That's a lot of copies for a fifteen dollar uh game yeah. on Xbox Live. Ridiculous if you think about it. Um which I'm they just happy. Do it all right. Yeah. Um I'm just happy to announce it because I, I think this state of the case is a wonderful game no if you ever played it. It's really well done. Um just wish it was co op and they said they couldn't do it. But Rest in peace, Marcus. Mar- oh yeah, you killed Marcus for me. You threw him off a ledge, like, get out of here. And, like, he still didn't die. Like, he took forever to die. The dude was just, no, I'm not having it. Blew up in a car. Didn't do anything. Um, and then, Daisy News. Uh, the creator, Rocket Hall. And originally, he announced this be a PS4 and PC exclusive. But in a recent interview with uh, some dude, I forgot, with Eurogamer, he said, uh, yeah, it's coming to all platforms. But he didn't, like, announce it, like, for, like, he's just like, it's going to be multi-platform. But it's not like, hey, it's going to be the next Xbox One. So there's, like, rumor shooting around, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> rumor, rumor, <laughs> rumor. Um, Like, it's going to be, if it's going to be uh, for Xbox One or not. But a lot of people are saying, like, since he said that, it's going to be. Which is cool. Uh, I think it's a great game. But no one said it should be released now. Because they said Alpha on the PC is, like, extremely buggy. Like, people are, like, morphing through the ground. 
and it's just oof. It's bad. You don't march through the ground. <laughs> okay, and then idiot. I'm sorry. Finally, we have the the game releases. All right, we got uh, about t- ten for this week. Starting with the big one, Alien Isolation, which IGN gave it a five point nine out of ten, but other people gave it like eights and nines out of ten. Like IGN gave it a super low score. They said it's like frustratingly hard, but fun. Hmm. I don't know. I'm still getting it, but I'm just worried now. <laughs> um, Costume Quest 2. Oh, yeah. Sequel to the very famous Costume Quest. Like, uh, what? What are you doing in this game? Just find <laughs> costumes? It's like a Spider Man. I'm just sitting here. <laughs> um, then Drive Club for the PS4, which is another big game. Uh, I think for the you can get like the free version if you have PlayStation Plus, which. Gets you ten cars and limits to one continent, but it's basically the game. Just ten cars and one continent instead of all of them, which is cool. Uh, NBA 2K15. I know a lot of people love that. Yeah. Never a big fan. Project Spark comes out officially. Hopefully, it's not like updating every time we try to do something. Yes. Like, that's why we stopped doing it. Like, updating one out of 64. Like, okay, this is this is not happening. <laughs> um, Sticks, Master of Shadows. Uh, 10K Knights, Brave Battle. For the 3DS. These games, dude. Final Fantasy IX. That's like they. This Final right, Fantasy IX re- HD remake. No, it's Final Fantasy VIII. Like I was putting it on Windows, I guess today. You know, oh. there's so many. I lose track. I just, I just what the, the list tells oh, yeah. me. And uh, Rise Son of Rome's coming out for Windows, which came out for the Xbox One like over a year ago. So, yeah, dude. So that's finally, one of the first games. Yeah, fun and, game. Uh, what 960p? Randomly. Yeah, like nine, like 990, some random thing. Um, but fun game. Enjoyed it. This short though, unfortunately. So uh, that's it for the news this week. Hope you enjoyed it. It's been real.